Okay, the topic of today's lecture is, is the Electronic Medical Nihilus Records, Introduction to its Design and Development. And actually, it will consist from two large sections. First of all, I will talk slightly about even theoretical backgrounds, what is medical records itself. Then some uh, basics about electronic medical records and in second part I will consider question questions which is uh, which are uh, mostly related to some technical aspects about design and development not the exact electronic medical records itself but rather application use to support and maintain uh, electronic medical records so uh, about the database application but right now start with this first section, which is about theory and idea of medical records and electronic medical records. So first of all, quickly pass to what is medical records itself, definition, purpose, format, contents, and some notice about uh, usage of medical records. Definitely, uh, majority of these topics you will consider further uh, during your uh, clinical uh, training, during uh, other courses related to, uh, so dedicated to, so I guess, initiative questions uh, of healthcare systems. But right now I need have to provide some, some basics of this term, of these terms just to be aware of this. Um, necessary for the questions about, about how to deal with electronic medical records. But before we deal with electronic, we have to be more or less clear about what is medical record itself. Uh, and it's actually could be seen as system documentation of patient medical history and care. Actually, for decades, for hundreds of years, it was used for like physical container, some kind of folder, which was usually filled with papers, which documents each individual patient. And uh, but also in the same case, it's related to body of information, which comprised total which patient health history. And actually, for this course, for us, mostly important this side of term of medical records, like information which is stored within medical records. So as I already notes, it had been uh, developed usually on paper and other similar media for decades, for hundreds of years. Uh, purpose of uh, med uh, medical records is to provide continuity of care to individual patient and also it serves as basis for planning for patient care because documented any communication between healthcare provided physician and patient and any notes any uh, should include the collection of any uh, evidences examinations uh, images, anything that had been obtained from patient during his uh, interaction with healthcare professionals. And also finally, medical records serve as uh, a useful educational material uh, for medical students, uh, which uh, provide data for in most of it, and, uh, and also serve in other in various administrative uh, roles like auditing, uh, quality assurance, etc. So we have multiply purpose on the medical records itself. Uh, definitely about what had been included in medical records, as I already notes, uh, past it will be everything, but for sure it will be depend upon uh, speciality and location, but actually every time include identification information, health history, examination findings, and something like this one. Uh, so about examination with modern capabilities to uh, collect various data to different uh, uh, to measure by using various medical equipment, diagnostic equipment, so we have a lot of opportunities to collect various results of medical examination, lab test results, images, etc. So all those things, it's better to be included into medical records body. 
So usually it could be divided into uh, so-called medical encounter, and each encounter will uh, consider some uh, completed, uh, separated clinical case, which lasted maybe two uh, significant time and uh, multiply we call them multiplying visits. Uh, sometimes could be uh, finished with a single occurrence, but usually multiply and include like chief compliance, main problems that bring patient to doctors and uh, must be reviewed history of uh, other present uh, illness. So if we have some other unclosed, uncompleted encounters that must be taken into account. Then physical examinations, list of current observation and the given encounter along with various uh, uh, data obtained via diagnostic equipment and as well assessment and plan. So sum summarize like diagnosis and uh, treatment plan for this specific case. After that, our orders, uh, which uh, given by medical providers, include medical records and uh, like test results, which is obtained through diagnostic equipment, uh, progress notes about uh, observation, how patient follow instruction, what results we obtain after being, being given medicine or medical proceedings, etc. And any other useful information if it will be found. So when we already have such kind of records, maintain it, it's time to take a look about how we can do it more efficiently with all capabilities which is available right now uh, and uh, given by, provided by information technologies. So uh, reason why it's better to introduce uh, what micro records have to be considered as a definition and the difference between uh, very few types of uh, EMR, EHR, PHR, at least three available. Uh, some few words about variability of data types, uh, which could be put into EMR, and then some issue standards, uh, interoperability issues, etc., which is uh, I will cover it under this problem. So, for sure, key points it's uh, accessibility. So, with electronic medical records, with introduction of uh, information system, we have chance to get uh, necessary information in a fraction of seconds. So, get instance access, access for access for patient history for. Uh, current or past encounters and have ability to review it efficiently uh, or even obtain some summary extract uh, reminders, automated reminders, uh, hints and suggestions about uh, necessary steps, action, etc. So that's all things closely depend to features of system which will be dedicated to support of the medical records. And it's uh, plenty of such system already in production. So difference could be significant, features could be uh, we could have a uh, huge variety in features, but here is main instant access, various hint assistance, etc. So also uh, uh, possibility to share information with colleagues, again, instant access for notice obtained or other observation within this clinic or other in case if interoperability had been established for uh, hospitals or uh, entire country or so. Um, that, that's majority for sure. That's majority. Uh, other case uh, which is very uh, helpful, it's data exchange with other system, like for example, to, to deal with insurance companies, to deal with uh, uh, to provide some bills, accounting information, uh, to communicate with uh, banks, etc. 
uh, as already mentioned, some information for administrative, hospital administrative staff, as well as uh, maybe governmental supervising uh, agencies who responsible for quality, making quality assurance for how healthcare system works. And finally, that uh, support education and research. So it's much easier, much better to obtain data, to manage data which is already collected in digital way, in digital information systems, uh, with well, proper, for sure, with up in necessary steps for anonymizing data, etc. And it will be under legal issue considered. So here is we have plenty of uh, benefits. Uh, it so would be not wrong to admit that it's possible some disadvantage and difficulties because it will be required some preparation efforts for physician to uh, get themselves in line with new technologies and the new update of proceeding and changing administrative uh, orders in the hospitals. So that's also not, uh, not exactly straightforward process. OK, and at this point we can see obviously electronic medical records as digitized medical records or its digital representation, which could be or the only uh, representation like in modern time in well-developed country, or it could be like party or representation when like we have, for example, in Ukraine, uh, despite the already in process of introduction of AMR for a long time still uh, and it's we have good level of adoption in um, private healthcare area but if you talk about governmental services and governmental offered um, healthcare service uh, healthcare component so again despite about five years of mandatory adoption we still have plenty of issue we still have only partial digitizing of uh, those records so that's again as i noted not easy process uh, in general, we can identify at least three components like EMR, EHR, PHR, which is uh, not exactly the same, but it will be not very critical uh, mistake, at least to assume that EMR and EHR are uh, synonym. Uh, so, uh, talk about usage of information health and machine technology system. That's uh, EMR. It's also could be seen again uh, under EMR. We had to understand body of information, but it implemented true uh, so specific kind of information system, which sometimes uh, available under the same name like EMR system. Sometimes it's uh, just call it medical information system, sometimes use the term practical management system. But oh, so they are all uh, fall under the same purpose that support electronic medical records. If it's primary feature of medical information system, so it could be considered as EMR system. And here is time to point difference between uh, EMR, HR, PHR. So EMR, like most useful and most common uh, term under this area, that's uh, health right information uh, on an individual, particular individual with one healthcare organization. So when patient visits specific clinical hospital, it uh, must be in in initiated new EMR record for this patient. And if it visit again, repeat uh, repeatedly visit, so this record had been updated, uh, have to be updated with new findings, new uh, data. Uh, unlike EMR, EHR, it's electronic uh, information on an particular individual, same individual across more than one healthcare organization. So if patient visit like a general clinic for general care, dentistry clinics for his dentistry services, and then like maybe specific rehabilitation center to get some 
extra rehabilitation and improvements for his care service, he will be given at least three or more EMR. And in ideal case, it would be fine if it will be a brief, uh, like, so it will be benefited for stuff of all this is, uh, um, medical facilities, or it will also benefit the patient itself if it would be possible to exchange information and create a single integrated record which will combine data from all these different facilities. So in this case, government must step in and introduce some kind of uh, data exchange backbone of something like this one. Um, and it's already done or in progress or in development because it's actually can't be done once and forget. So that's process which re required constant attention. So it's had been done and it's in develop in progress in high development countries. It's like in, in progress uh, in developmental country like in Ukraine also again. Um, since I'm not wrong about 2020, we are uh, Ministry of Health uh, starting deployment of the second stage of uh, organization of healthcare system with introduction of various exchange of data between hospitals, which is which was very hard affected uh, initially by. COVID uh, pandemic, then by a war and going war was Russian, uh, but still we are, uh, this process is ongoing. It's much more harder than introduction EMR per facility, but still it's uh, going, it's going. And third uh, group of records, PHR or personal health records. So that's kind of information, uh, health record information, which is uh, managed by patient, by particular patient itself. Uh, no matter is it collected by patient itself, for example, by using various personal diagnostic devices, variable devices, and so on, uh, or it's information that patient had been given access from EMR or EHR in case of existence. Uh, but anyway, that it's it's when uh, it means that kind of information could be accessed by various uh, network technologies by patient itself on his own right, and uh, so he have ability to get some kind of governance over this information. So actually, here is we have all the three objects uh, depicted. Maybe it's be better to show before how it could be depicted in chat and how we can. It, here is at left side how it we can see yeah, all the three. Uh, I provide just a little bit in other definition of uh, example of EMRs, but here is exactly this case how they are combined into single EHR and how it's being related to PHR data collected by patients themselves. So here is this things how it's going in reality and we have more and more opportunities for this with various uh, diagnostic equipment which is available more and more widely for patient usage. Regarding for data types, it definitely depend of uh, section of medical records in general that must be uh, keep preserved. So uh, it will be the same information in uh, digital form, like about demographic, like about medical history, um, and up to some bad habits, some specific uh, reaction like allergies, etc. Can uh, immunization records if had been done, uh, then uh, any current examination, test results, images, etc. So here is in general what we can identify. It's obviously that it will be first of all some data represented in text form, sh both short and long text, we can talk about short 
on text, which is, will be described on patient personal data or on text could include uh, personal uh, physician notes on this patient, on specific encounters, etc. Then numerical data, which will cover uh, like Various examination results, digitized image, which is actually presented as numerical sequences in specifically encoded formats. No matter if you talk about JPEG images or DCOM, but it's obviously that must be usually uh, something like DCOM compatible image. Images must be incorporated in medical records. And uh, on the alphanumerical information, oh, we have to keep in mind that it will be various encoded medical data, like uh, by usage of ECD 10, 11, uh, encoded diagnosis symptoms, uh, etc. So they are, the, here is we use. Uh, Alphanumerical, alphanumerical data types, numbers and text, usually check characters, but they are, we have strong definition and strong order about usage, those codes. So that's like about, here is on the screen, you see like uh, medical data types, and I provide summarize about what it will how it will be corresponded to uh, uh, computer data types which is right as I already know pretty pretty simple because we have only or text or numerical uh, information or so-called blob memo data which is for images which is encoded images uh, stream data set. And so, so uh, what is features of uh, EMR, EHR in general? It's uh, information should be able to be continuously updated. So for ideal EHR, that it's actually the same feature we have for paper medical records. Information have to be updated, um, but like again, even my personal observation show me that sometimes it's not difficult, not easy for a physician to keep uh, EMR uh, updated in such a way like on paper. In some cases it has to be a little bit at least no more difficult than, but reality tell in other. So again, uh, if we want to get uh, maximum efficiency from introduction of EMR. Uh, you want to get maximal benefits. We, it must be very strict enforcements about uh, usage of EMR in proper way, about continuous update, about filling all, all uh, observation by physician and the assistants into system. Uh, Immediately, and only in this case we can talk about that. Really, uh, it will be effective usage and effective uh, spending of resources for introduction of EMR in the hospital. Uh, so they later for sure it could be used for. In this case, additional benefits already had been noted. That's like uh, various statistic reporting, and it will be much more easy to get correct statistical data or to talk about uh, like official statistics uh, to governmental, uh, to mean health ministries in even up to World Health Organization, or we are talking about. Uh, uh, statistics for uh, scientific research purpose. So in those cases, uh, they are required uh, data to be provided correctly. And uh, so the important features, it's ability to exchange between different health system systems or interoperability. 
so that's our coordinate healthcare delivery in non-affiliate healthcare facilities. So if uh, accidentally patient visited another facility by accident or by intention, for example, we need different kind of services, as I already mentioned. For example, for dentistry case of so it's very quite um, usually that we use absolutely different facilities. Uh, then for general medical care, um, here is most uh, important and very difficult point for establishing EMR features. In general, so let's me provide some few maybe points more about interoperability because as I already said, so I have facility automation by this time so that usually good, usually good or even very fine. But in case of exchange information, even for web developed countries still remains lots of problems and failures and issues. So under operability, we have seen the ability of different information technology systems and software application to communicate, exchange data accurately, efficiently and consistently. Uh, so and uh, when we talk about introduction of interoperability in the healthcare um, in conditions, so just by example, if you consider the situation in the United States, uh, like about 90 years ago, it was necessary to introduce special federal organization, which covered Office National Coordination for Healthcare Information Technology, which was dedicated especially to establish uh, operability and solving various issues and establish National Health Information Network. So here it is. They, they, they started the process in 19 years ago and still this organization working even by now because uh, actually, uh, like usually with uh, information technologies, we have a like, continuous process of updates, introduction, new features, and uh, as a result, new interoperability issues are being uh, raised. Similar situation in Ukraine, just we started much later, uh, despite multiplies uh, talks about something similar like this one. Actual uh, steps had been done since 2017, and really similar network had been started in the late uh, 1980, at the beginning of uh, in late 2019, and at the beginning of 2020. Uh, so, by definition of that mentioned center, national leadership, we can see about four levels of different uh, data types and categories. Uh, in relationship to capabilities of interoperability. First of all, non electronic data is actually obviously on paper based documents or on recorded calls or uh, something like this one. Um, then transportable data, machine transportable data, which is include emails, uh, unindexed document, but in digital format. So any format, like in particular, like office documents, uh, Microsoft Office documents, etc., or um, recorded voice messages, for example, or something similar. Even video recording file under these things. So they are all transportable data, but nothing more. Then machine readable data. Or we have structured messages and structured content. And here is uh, medical modern medical standards already step in. And I'm speaking about uh, health level seven uh, healthcare international uh, standard, which is dedicated to uh, provide standardized approach to exchange medical messages. And here is under important to understand that's on the message here it means 
some kind of labeled indexed documents when message itself have structured format and contain description of clinical case where content which actually held the uh, whole data about this particular case patient record the examination results or something could be in some kind of original format so here is we have structured messages but uh, content could be structured and finally machine inter interpretable data when we have both structured message and structured standardized content uh, so here is in this case it means that so we have ability to full exchange uh, various data fields from one uh, emr records to uh, toward each air or another emr records within different system and uh, uh, facility uh, and so on. So actually, again, uh, right now it's like kind of uh, areas of significant activities and the cooperation, um, like attempt to establish cooperation between various um, owners, developers, and the maintainers of various information systems. So most problematic area anyway um, still we have some uh, kind of success with uh, various extension on AHL like CDA CCC which is spoken about uh, various type of med and uh, FHR fast health service inter uh, in the changeability, uh, of course, uh, so latest updates of HL7, which is dedicated especially to establish mesh interpretable data exchange between various systems based on so called uh, JSON data format, JavaScript um, data objects. So here is um, at least uh, general approaches have to be done. And actually, if you like, Take a look into this chart, which is given. It's a little bit outdated already. Uh, comparison of interoperability, which is uh, made by different countries. Uh, so you can see, uh, like, almost not even single how full, uh, fully implemented. Uh, in interoperability of uh, different uh, exchanging of different type of documents content or uh, medical data. As you can see, uh, even here we spoken about it's considered mostly considered high developed countries, maybe except India, uh, because actually China hard to be covered development though right now it's for me so they still have some number of issues with uh, providing uh, one or specific kind of uh, permanent access via permanent access and exchange of medical records by link you can find more with that article. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and finally, we have to admit if we are in you know, that's like it's at this point mostly related to Ukraine because uh, very often in high development our country we already have introduced uh, EMR times decades ago, so they already uh, plenty of patients whose data originate only in digital format. Maybe they for them provided the paper backup, which is I consider like a good approach uh, in case of emergency. But those uh, backups must originate from digital form. Uh, in contrast, if you talk about development of country, including Ukraine, uh, it's uh, quite significant problem to incorporation of past records because very often we have uh, especially for patients with some chronic diseases we have collected 
a num significant amount of data and to be able to provide continuous care. Uh, same manner uh, as it was done with paper records, with uh, digital records, so previous paper records must be at least scanned and included as object into EMR or better if it would be done recognition, which is uh, again on my personal observation barely possible. Anyway, that's given. But here is its important point, which is also and very hard and costly work, time consuming work, which had to be done in order to assess maximum effectiveness as quickly as possible. On the other hand, yes, it's also a possible approach to collect only new data in digital format and preserve all paper records and use both, at least by lifetime of patient, but it's it's working approach, but to look. OK, and as I already know, noted, admitted some uh, features which is support uh, data exchange and interoperability, that's components of health level seven. And here is just given like some trend and changes between uh, various standards because itself. Uh, you have to remember because that's some which should provide for you introduction into standardization on the second or third lecture. So you have to be aware that Social 7 itself is already adopted, accepted uh, about 25 or so years ago, but it's still just uh, it's provided some ongoing updates for the standards with Nevest version, with Nevest data structures. And here is given like evolution from like text fields in second level to uh, two clinical uh, documents uh, uh, architecture uh, based on XML data format in the center and modern fast health information. Uh, Health records inter, inter exchangeability in uh, at left side when data data fields data set represent as JSON objects, and what is only important change that uh, selected present day block at chat right now shifted significantly to uh, to right side to the right side. Uh, because it's already uh, so seven F H I R uh, approach already dominate on market and CDR in significant decline. So um, here is we are like even behind the intersection of uh, F H I R and CDR already, which is probably uh, a good way. Okay. Then a few words about implementation, the uh, development planning, some examples, etc. So actually, uh, that's uh, again. I had some chance to see about attempts, uh, early attempts in Ukraine to implement medical records, uh, and also I was. Um, I have seen multiple failures exactly because this uh, proceeding, this process had been uh, had been uh, not clearly uh, accepted by authorities, not clearly uh, overseen, not clearly um, um, passed through. So here is uh, we should have before we actually going to implement something. We have to pass at least three steps before envisioning, evaluation and selection. And it's like especially in case of Ukraine, uh, we had number of failures because we just tried to OK. We know about existing solutions. They are available. We can work it. Let's start implementation. No. That does not work in this way. First of all, it must be 
uh, we must provide some uh, insights about our goals. We might provide, we might we must provide uh, some research and planning and the uh, assessment works, prepare necessary resources, funds, and only after that it's possible to start uh, like broke or develop software, broke hardware, deploy uh, or units to uh, healthcare facilities, start uh, um, Software deployment, uh, staff training, etc. Without those steps, it will be complete failure, and I have seen already. So, and here is again, uh, what to the side pick this data? It's usual proportion, 80 to 20 percent, and I pick this data from again of the article, even not about Ukraine, but Western country. As if I clearly remember, it was about England. Um, so here is work of EMR implementation spent on issues which are related to change management and only 20 depend usually to technology because we have number of organizational social issues which is prevent to implement to implementation of EMR uh, technologies on large scale, not like for personal usage, for personal practice on large scale. I mean, and it's had been admitted by uh, multiply companies who were responsible for uh, implementation of such project in various countries. Mm. So that's much organizational social issues, much more difficult and much more challenging than limitation in adverse software solutions, which is in modern time far too negligible because we have very powerful uh, and mobile uh, and computer system. So again, oh, 10 years old information, but I'm I think it's barely something changed even by now. We have about 30 percent mid for success, half usually completed, but with over budget schedule uh, for scope of planet functionality. So again, despite it's 10 years uh, old notices, but from my recent observation, almost nothing changes. And about quarter of projects usually fail or canceled exactly because of mismanagement and the significant uh, uh, significant uh, misses in uh, goals and other features. OK, so uh, contribution factor which implement fail, uh, fail reported its lack of planning, lack of clear vision, goals and approach, incomplete and clear uh, changed for requirements, lack of support and commitment, lack of resources. Here is uh, usually a problem for developmental countries, especially if country with low income and various financial problems. Uh, and the same exp analytic expectations. It's also sometimes play roles when, uh, no, uh, for sometimes for years, a physician expecting that information system will be something like silver bullet and will solve all problems at, at once. No, it will not and have never and will never. Anyway, uh, still we have. Uh, study which had been done more recently just two years ago about various barriers uh, um, which prevent of successful implementation uh, of various in our EHR solution especially in case of governmental uh, based systems so here is we have again uh, right now uh, some uh, in recent years, 
hasn't slightly changed and as you can see uh, privacy security issues has been added significant uh, uh, vulnerability and even moved at the first position but again high startup cost uh, workflow changes they are still second third position uh, complexity um, lack of reliability, interoperability, so all this. So here is we have still, despite we have decades of development in this area and implementation, still we have uh, numbers of problems under this way. And level of implementation, again, this status adoption of in, in the European Union actually with a significantly outdated chart because right now situation improved uh, very significantly and become much better. Um, but still you see it's in, even we have problem with uh, high development country with high income. Uh, same way, um, a similar situation with adoption of a prescription, digital prescription system, which is uh, dedicated to establish uh, automatic uh, exchange data between uh, hospitals, healthcare facilities, and uh, various uh, pharmacies, uh, pharmacy uh, stores. Uh, anyway, in Ukraine also we have right now uh, was introduced in 2020 this process but also have significant difficulties and only partial coverage of a prescription system which works only for some social groups uh, for specific dedicated medicine but not cover all prescription right now Anyway, we have this right now system which is already working in Ukraine, but with significant limitation. Okay, similar situation we have even if sorry, such rich country as United States, but here is we have, as you can see, that's uh, by uh, at least seven years ago, that's more or less basic EHR were covered. Uh, uh, our states were covered with uh, state state health system were covered with at least basic EHR system and interoperability features. So right now situation still much better uh, improved, but still still not one hundred percent. So again issue remains. Uh, about here is a chart which is depict the situation by different type of EHR system, like uh, in general certified or basic systems. I have to admit that uh, demand, strict demand for certification system were introduced relatively recently, so like seven years ago. And before I will finalize this part of lecture, a few additional words about uh, introduction of EMR system in developing countries, especially Africa and Asia regions, which is characterized by the very mobile population, limited means of identification very often, especially for African countries, uh, shortage, massive shortage, health uh, care workers, limitation to outside physical access to health service, a limitation, huge limitation in infrastructure, access to medicines, uh, disease burden combined with poverty, um, which is actually um, require attention for and assistance from much richer countries, international agencies, organizations, etc. Uh, anyway, even despite this uh, number of successful solutions already available uh, in these countries, and like my two, my pair of uh, my pair of favorite open source EMR solution, open EMR, open me, open MRA, open MRS, they are dedicated, uh, especially open MRS, dedicated for 
Spain East with the uh, developmental country with uh, assistance of international uh, community and various organizations. Open aim are also uh, not rare to be used in developmental country, but here is we have some specific because it's system developed in the United States and actually more dedicated for ambulance, for automated uh, ambulance and personal physician practice in the United States. But also I know about number of implementation and solution into developmental countries. So here is in this case we are rather spoken about uh, application of EMR system Per, uh, on per facility basis, rather than rather than EHR, rather than uh, uh, national wide networks. Again, because lack of resources in those countries. Okay, that's uh, all what I was going to talk to talk about. Uh, EMR uh, medical records and health records in general, like kind of introduction. And right now we will move into second part of lecture, or which will be related about some backgrounds related or to EMR EHR application or um, databases, especially relation of databases. Because when we talk about some EMR EHR software, when we talk about data have to be uh, managed. Uh, and store it within those applications. So we touch with, uh, we immediately get into problem how to store the data efficiently, and we immediately come to the database as data storages. So to identify what is the database, uh, common models and types of the database, and a little bit more detail with attention had to be paid about relational database especially and if you have time i will try to get few words about modern nosql database but it will be impossible so before we will start about with the definition of database you need to take a look at the definition of information system which is comes from previous lecture so system of person, data records, and activities that process data information given organization could be manual and automated process. And it's uh, information technology common information system, and also it's field of study for information technologies as scientific area. And actually, if you talk about EMR system, it's kind of information system for sure. So, and uh, as common implementation of uh, common type of information system, which is dedicated to work in global healthcare facilities. It will be a host for information system. Again, that's um, uh, achieved best support of patient care by administration of electronic data processing and managing of electronic medical records for this uh, healthcare facility. So, uh, despite it, we can talk about different type of data, uh, and different type of system, so they all could be covered under general hospital information system uh, terminology, and uh, it would be fine if interoperability had been uh, established for all the system, especially if they are working in the same facility. Uh, and if you take a look about some charts of, again from previous lecture, which depict structure of uh, typical information system. Here you will see markers which is responsible for the database of this. Or yearly you were shown like a chart about um, uh, PAX RIS system. They also include those uh, characters, so those markers which depict data storages. Here is real because impossible to build any of this kind of system without data storages. We need data storages as a result, we need a database. Uh, and if we try to define it, we can we can find multiply definition in various uh, textbook sources, etc. But simply we can see it as computerized record system or more detail, a little bit more detail, like a system which involves data 
hardware along with networking hardware with physical stored data, software that utilizes hardware uh, resources in order to store data and provide standardized methods for retrieving and changing data, and users who turn data into information. Same as information system which combine data and users. Database also, in definition of database, we can separate user because the database usually stored to collect data and in future provide this data to users to uh, turn it information to some, collect some information, important facts from this data, even if it will be done automatically with our modern data mining, data analysis capabilities, still finally at the end we will have users who will take a look on data or uh, uh, some statistic based on this data and make decision. So how it's related to what conventional users see, it's shown in this picture. Ordinary user physician in their modern offices working with database application, which is dedicated, for example, to manage electronic medical records. They are shown at left side. But what is behind, lay behind those user interface, all these fields, uh, etc., that is, um, Actually, so those user interface form this part, like which is shown at the right side, client app or the database application. That is the same, could be uh, term could be used as replacement, the database application or client application. All these features. And behind this, we have database or database together with the database management system. At the right side above, we have just a SQL database, but below it's split, uh, the base management system split uh, separately, which is actually not quite significant. It's just signed that oh, when we talk about the base, we have to take into account that existence, not only data storage itself, but dedicated software, which is provide those uniform access and serve uh, various uh technical uh provide various technical works to maintain data structures and users as well as developers no no need to disturb about some um, basic level data management operation they can be concentrate users on the work so um, dealing with EMR records, fill new data there, or review previous get reports, or developers could fulfill uh, decision demand about specific uh, report or like uh, additional form to provide data entry about specific patient case. About classification of database. So first of all, type types. We can all could be split in two large groups: analytic or up or no analytic processing, which is static read-only database and use the container heap historical data for analysis only can't be changed anymore. And operational database TP online reduction processing, which is used to manage dynamical bits of data and possible to be new data be added, changed or deleted. Practically, that's both features could be combined even in the same system or when after the specific point in time, it will be ordinary users will be not allowed to change historical records and they only have ability to review those records. Oh, sorry. Uh, data models, uh, more essential characteristics of the database, which is uh, actually depict a watch in which data being stored and managed inside the database. So very old, the deprecated approach is first file like uh, CSV or even spreadsheet. Despite spreadsheet widely used right now, but you say spreadsheet as database, it's not 
a bit good solution. Uh, it had been done in the past sometimes, but with growth of numbers of uh, records, amount of information there, it's actually barely possible to follow this pattern, except maybe some personal cases. So possible, but deprecated and not recommended. And we have three major models here, connect work and relational. Actually, we can even rely network and relational because hierarchical it's specific case of network with strict parent children relationship. When in network database, we have uh, not only tree like, but we have connection between branches on the, the same level, or we could have multiply, uh, multiply parents for the same child, etc. So unlike hierarchical database. So any more generalized, we can talk about network database, relational database, and some modern approach, like for example, object oriented or no SQL database model. It's one more case, which is not on this slide. Uh, again, to be clear, for example, object oriented database technically usually based on relational, just or difference in uh, ideology how to use relational database containers uh, and how to extend features of conventional relational database with support of object. So all this model in some kind of chat combined it together. We have what file left top hierarchical model. Uh, Right top network model, which is uh, difference between um, it's actually slightly cut by bottom of screen at right bottom. Relational database, which uh, manage data based on two dimensional table in the center, and uh, object oriented model, which is again, as you can see, operate by two dimensional table, except uh, it's Support, uh, support that table could contain uh, attributes of object, not only value. And in this case, it could be ex uh, it's extends relational model to support object oriented approach. So, uh, as I already said, in hierarchical database, we have strict relationship between children and, uh, and parents, between root and branch out. So, one root multiplied branches. So, when we need, um, we need, we have to fulfill uh, entire hierarchy uh, to build this model, and. Uh, to be a peer redundancy when we try to add the uh, like same child value for multiplied parents. So we look like this one when we have duplication of information. It's very common case when we need a single person to to project or uh, like uh, um, patient will need to visit multiply uh, physicians. So in network hierarchy, we have uh, we can work uh, three like uh, structure with exceptions. It's allowed uh, bypassing some branches or creating connection between various uh, child levels. So it's easy to implement many to many relationship, but uh, there is a lot of technical difficulties to implement such system practically and only very specific enterprise level uh, database solution uh, allowed to implement this model with kind of limitation and with uh, significant difficulties during development. So anyway, it's possible to implement things like this one within this model without any significant difficulties. So, and practically still, despite it's already 50 years old, the uh, most useful model is relational, which is based on idea of two-dimensional table, which is similar to spreadsheet, but 
k difference, unlike spreadsheet, each table in the relational model represents some kind of entity, reflect object data. So it's have to inf contain information about, for example, patient or student or patient some symptoms or diagnosis or student schedule or students grades or so. And uh, second important difference, it's relationship, uh, per table relationship. Again, unlike spreadsheet, when we have per cell relationship, per cell addresses in our rational database model, we have per table relationship when one uh, instance of uh, entity uh, strictly corresponded to uh, one of you instance in another uh, table. And so here is example how it could be seen. Uh, first of all, components of relational table, which is uh, database composite relational table, which is actually two-dimensional table, which is again composed by columns or fields, alternative term, uh, and each field dedicated to store specific characteristics, uh, value of specific characteristics of objects, like for example, patient name or email or date of admitting to hospital or so. And each row contains information only about single instance of this particular uh, entity or information about this specific patient or this specific student or so. And here it's shown how possible to make uh, establish a relationship between uh, uh, tables by using key reference mechanism. First of all, any uh, each the relational table must contain unique identifier called primary key. In this case, it's department code and teacher ID in both case, and to a signal or like teacher to a specific department, we need another key, another kind of key fields, so called foreign key, which participate into relationship and dedicated to provide a value of corresponded primary key table value. Uh, in this case, it will refer to this way we have ability to refer to like department uh, to department area. OK, so uh, some short notice about how to develop relational database because you will have this question on practice. Some steps, uh, more detailed overview of relational model, uh, take a look at data structure terminology, some tables, properties of tables, relationship and keys in more detail. OK, uh, similar way as I told about steps necessary to develop any uh, information system and especially to introduce new EMR project, for example, uh, as part of it, uh, we, if it would be necessary to develop new application software, we have general steps about development of software as well as uh, database uh, which will be definitely part of the software. So planning and definition of system which is include in analysis equation analysis then design step which includes some logical and physical modeling of system and implementation of system. And if we talk about in more general at the right bottom corner we talk about uh, that's have to be seen as when we analyze open domains and collect requirements, collection from analysis and perform data modeling or create a logical representation of our data structures which have to be uh, stored in our database. Then design uh, means turn logical model into physical model. And the physical model here we understand not something like in particular physical, but rather uh, same logical model adopted to be used under specific database management system uh, with uh, involved limitation of this system and then implementation of database to this database management system and to go live. So start with testing. So uh, 
Okay, and here is an example. How could look, how design could look like? Here is, for example, a so called entity relationship diagram which depicts uh, entities, its properties, relationship between various objects. And here is a small part of our diagram for hospital information system, uh, which is actually only partial, it's incomplete, and uh, very often it include not uh, all characteristics, but object only, for example, like uh, uh, trainee visiting permanent uh, in the case of uh, what kind of doctors are, uh, could work and could deal with a patient. Uh, also, as you can see, not shown uh, specific fields for doctor, despite they are uh, at least partially depicted for patient and employer, because doctor, doctor actually kind of employer on the hospital, and he, along with nurses and other staffs. So again, it's only a small fraction of real art diagram, which could be very complex in modern time for modern system. And it's even special software solution used to produce such diagram. But what is benefits to create such diagrams? It's because, again, if it's done in digital way, uh, it's a high chance that you will have tools which will allow to you to create correspond database structures automatic. So as a result, you have ability to draw your database visually, which is very um, physiologically uh, comfortable way for us for humans. And then if you have, if you properly depict all our relationship and data structure is here, you will be a uh, have chance to get this in uh, physical data model for even especially for different waste management system almost instantly. OK, as I already noted that so we have uh, basic features of operational model with representation data to dimensional table. And we see this as a logical view of database, a logical view as of about internal or physical view, how those actually tables being stored in uh, data storage on the specific computer system by it's depend to uh, relation of database management system special software, which is dedicated to uh, manage data at computer system and provide a logical two-dimensional table table based view to outs to external users to any external users or developers as well so here is feature of early bms uh, Okay, I already admit, uh, told about uh, components of RGBMS, only one to add the, then in addition to term like table, uh, file, uh, field and record. So in spreadsheet, we had used a term like table, column and row. In database development uh, documents, etc., very often had been used terms table, field and record uh, respectively. And we have formal terminology in uh, relation of database theory where database is considered uh, a scientific objects, which is stated relational uh, attribute and tuple. So they all the things mean the same. Table, relation, and relational table is the same. Column, attribute, and field is the same. And row, tuple, and record is the same six. Would be fine, don't miss this. Uh, okay, as I already saw the features. More about features of relational database. As I said, that it's collection of relational table, and each table it's a composite set of names, columns, and arbitrary rows, numbered rooms, almost without limitation. Technically, there is no limitation right now for the database except size of your data storage information system. Uh, that's important value. Uh, 
uh, again, each one relational table dedicated to store uh, that information uh, data only about specific entity, only one specific entity. Uh, each value uh, or attribute value stored intersection of in columns. The uh, columns corresponded to attributes of entities objects or essential characteristics, like for example, if talk about patients, it will be patient, uh, patient, um, uh, some personal information, it will be like, or demographic, it will be like first name, last name, best day, address, phone, like this one. So all this, it's columns or attributes. And those represent the currents of things uh, represented in the table. So instances of object or instances of entities uh, collection of data about particular patient. Major properties of relational database are atomic value, column value it must be the same kind, row must be unique, each row must be unique, the sequence columns must be uh, sequence columns of insignificant and school must have unique name. So again usually uh, value atomic not as strong, that means at intersection must be only single value, not uh, not group or arrays, means not repeating group for these tables. As a hand, uh, sometimes it's possible to keep there some few values in modern time. Uh, so it's not strict relation, strict demand. Uh, unlike this, uh, demand to have column value at the same kind are very strong. So if we have dedication for columns to be used for first names, the only first name uh, it will be collect there. If it's dedicated to store email, only email must be stored there and so on. Uh, providing a unique row means that's at least single value in a row or which is related to this particular uh, instance of object must be different than us. That's the only way that uh, digital system able to distinguish two row. Uh, and then actually usually it's produced by not by data itself, but synthetic field, extra field, colored key fields, especially primary key. Order of columns and rows in significance, I see it have to be very obvious. That means we can rearrange rows and columns as we want, and it must not affect data, and it will not. So uh, another, uh, as I already mentioned, that's key properties of uh, the relation database, it's a relationship which is association between two tables and it's implemented to a key reference mechanism and especially by using pair of primary and foreign keys. So as I already said, primary key uh, play even more important role because it's provide unique identification for each row in table. It could be synthetic, uh, so specific extra uh, field which is not included into patient data set or person data set. Uh, any other, if you talk about orders or so, no matter. Uh, or it could be, could be based on uh, usually rather few than one field from given data set if we uh, clearly assure that combination of such field will be really unique this way it's possible. Uh, foreign key uh, also it's, uh, usually it's again uh, additional extra field which uh, refer to uh, corresponded value from another table's primary key. And here is important to understand that the relationship in further lecture in remaining of lecture in our diagram relationship usually depicted as lines but it's clearly to be understood that, that really there is no any lines in real database foreign key mechanism works only based on data value so if we want to refer some uh, patient by using this primary key we have to duplicate value from its primary key into our corresponded foreign key value and then system will be capable to retrieve data corresponding according to this key value only by value that's it. 
So here is a shown example how we can add the that additional extra key uh, key value to identify like the teacher. And I already provide this example how we use this uh, same values as a foreign key to provide information about to connect like teachers to department. And uh, regarding the relationship type, we can we must admit that there are uh, three major type of relationship in relation to base one to one, which is uh, when uh, most one instance of entity. Uh, um, Entity A sit with one instance of entity B. So means it's usually uh, used for providing some further details like them, uh, but habits for patient or so, uh, uh, which is might be not uh, necessary at each moment and loaded just by occasion. Or for example, picture photo of patient, which is not actually bad habits. We maybe need to know more uh, rather much often than to check picture about this patient, how he is look like. Uh, OK, so here is example how it could be in could be seen. Uh, usual type of relationship, it's one to many relationship when one instance of entity A, which are zero, one or many instance of entity B, but for one instance of entity B, there is only one instance of entity A. So here is dedicated direction in one side. Uh, also sometimes use the term many to one, which is uh, to enforce direction of relationship. OK, it will be not mistake, but it will be defined exactly the same way. And so here is, let's see this simple example about how teacher could be associated with classes which uh, they offered for students. So and right now, it's exactly like my today's schedule when I have first class with one group, second lecture with you, third class again I will have with another group. And here is one to many relationship in reality. How it's look like for me. And finally, many to many relationship when instance of entity B is a zero, one or many instances of entity B. And the same situation from B side when we could have a zero, one or many instances of entity A. So that's from logic, from theory of relational database view, but practically there is no such implementation and to implement it uh, in real relational database, it must be split into pair of one to many relationship, like one to many, and many to one in this case, if we want, if we say so. So here is we have some kind of joint table which contain usually multiply foreign keys. And here is, for example, how we can provide enrollment students into classes, like for example, for, for today. And here is if we want to add the me as teacher to this class. So we have to add the even one more uh, table. Uh, which will be at the right side and which will be associated with class. With class. Um, able at the right side here. So here is we have example of implementation of many to many by splitting it in two or more one to many relationships. That's the only way, despite decades of development on the relational database theory, so there is no other way. A similar things, in other, let's see another example, just with products order and product details, we have the same case, we have two tables with only primary key and one which provide details with two foreign key and probably primary as well. Uh, so which will be um, explain relationship between orders and products. OK, so I already review all these things. And final, some notice related to data uh, basics include data integrity means that you can correct instantly navigate and manipulate data. 
And entity integrity rule states that value of primary key can never be no value and never be unknown. Actually, it would be better if it would be never changes. And the referential integrity states that if uh, relative tables has foreign keys, then every value of foreign key must either no or much value in a relational table in which the foreign key is a primary key. So it must not be like um, uh, lost records or so. Um, actually, those process of development of relational database uh, done to normalization theory, which is idea of normalization is to create a set of relational tables that are free of redundant data and that call consistently and correctly modified. Actually, uh, normalization theory is additional scientific direction on the general relational database theory. Uh, that's only some essence I will provide in the remaining minutes which is uh, based on uh, five normal forms, but usually uh, practical development uh, it's not going further than three form, and uh, which is actually a two-step process, puts that into tabular form by removing it in groups and then remove duplicates data from relational tables. And here is given step by step uh, how we can turn we have a normalized table, how we can turn it into normalized when we eliminate repeating group class ID. Here is we have turn three columns into one. Right now we have only one column with some, each one column with some purpose. Then uh, we have uh, bring table into second normal form. If it's in the form of form and even non-key column, upon the primary key. So here is, uh, in this case, we turn table two into pair of table by splitting it uh, and get students and registration information separately. And even we have further advanced when we turn it into uh, third normal form. In this case, um, uh, add functional depend on the attribute. So we move attribute from student table to faculty table as shown here. And finally, we come to solution based on three tables. So here is uh, results of uh, normalization. OK, uh, actually, we are run out of time for our lecture. And final two words sets. All this done to the database management system, which is dedicated software package with computer programs that control uh, creation, maintenance, and usage of the database. And it's a low organization uh, to convenient develop the base by various uh, application based database administrators and other specialists. I already shown place of the database on this chart. It's been already shown for you. And actually have to admit that even allow it to multiply application connect same data to the database management system. Uh, and uh, as I already also said, we have special tools which are able to build live EMR R diagram, which could be directly reflected into specific relational model supported by specific relational database system, which is done through a SQL structured query language, standard language for storing, manipulation, and retrieving data in database. And here is given structure of typical SQL query, which can uh, only one type select data, which depict which data must be selected from which table uh, with application of which condition by using group and order features. And by using logical function, which is already have to be known for you, like and or not, we can combine very complex structure to retrieve data. For example, in this case, we have intersection of two table. So data which is appear in both table have to be selected. And so on. So thank you for your attention. And uh, stay safe. Goodbye. A uh, third topic had to be considered individually by uh, given materials in Moodle uh, website. Goodbye. Have a nice day.